Hi, it's Robin Sharma, author of The Leader Who Had No Title, founder of the Titan Academy, and welcome to this mastery session. You are absolutely going to love this one. It's called The Number One Habit Super Producers Run Daily. And it's going to give you, I'm going to share this right off at the front, it's going to give you what I call a gargantuan competitive advantage against any of the peers within your marketplace. This number one habit of the super producers will really allow you to fireproof your creativity and bulletproof your productivity so you own the game. So you never mail it in, you always bring it on. And no surprise, this habit is based on a concept I've been teaching for going into my third decade called the 5AM Club. You probably read about it for the first time in The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, maybe the second time in my book that I wrote many years ago called The Greatness Guide. Maybe you heard about it in The Leader Who Had No Title or at one of my live events, I don't know. A lot of my, te my students are teaching the 5AM Club concept now. There's a lot of science coming out about what happens first thing in the morning when you exercise, what it does in terms of releasing oxytocin, serotonin, dopamine, so it creates a pharmacy of mastery, what it does to reduce cravings, what it does to activate your epigenetics so you're on fire. I could just go on and on, but the key thing super producers do, the best of the best, they get up early. So. Here's what I wanted to share with you. I wanted to literally deconstruct the 5 a.m. club concept, which is just, you get up at five o'clock, you give yourself one hour in the greatness guide, I call it the holy hour, which you're not in the world, you're not checking your notifications, you're not anywhere near technology, you're not watching the news, you're not chit-chatting, you're not daydreaming, you are literally running a one hour period of practice to set up your mindset, your heart set, your health set, your soul set, the four interior empires that I teach at Personal Mastery Academy, so that by six o'clock, you feel fundamentally different. Now, you might be saying, Robin, what, 5 a.m.? Well, if you're feeling that, any good idea is going to disrupt you. Any new idea will shake you up a little bit. And so if you're feeling I couldn't do that, if your mind is full of chatter on excuses, if you say, you know, Robin, I can't win the battle of the bed. I can't put mind over mattress. My father couldn't get up early. Mom couldn't get up early. Grandpa used to sleep in. I just don't have the genetics to allow me to get up early. Yes, you do. We know from the research of University College London that it takes 66 days to wire in neurobiologically a new habit. 66 days. And as you know from my brain tattoo that is very well known, all change is hard at first. It's, if it wasn't hard at first to get up early, it wouldn't be valuable change. And it's messy in the middle and it's beautiful at the end. So if you wanna get up early, if you wanna have a gargantuan competitive advantage, if you wanna have a massive opportunity because most people, they might have great products, they might have a great mindset, they might be great entrepreneurs or great performers, they might be working at a great company, they might have a corporate culture that is fantastic, but most people on the planet will never get up at 5 a.m. And that's why it is a gargantuan competitive advantage for you. The rest of the world is pretty much sleeping. Those of us who love getting up at five o'clock, we know it's the quietest time of the day. Imagine this, having one hour from five to six just for yourself. Imagine one hour where there's such a stillness in the air where you can actually breathe and think and be. And the Spartan warriors say it so well. And this, if, if you're interested in this concept, the book is that, that I've written is The 5 a.m. Club. And one of the lines I use comes from the Spartan warrior credo. And the Spartans, those great warriors, here's what they used to say. The one who sweats more in training bleeds less in war. And so 
five to six your holy hour is simply, it's, it's a training practice. It's a training ground, like the great warriors, so that when you go out in the world, you bleed a lot less. You have a lot more focus, a lot more energy. You're focused on your priorities and your values versus society's priorities and their values. And you know what I wanna to say to you? Some days I get up at 4.45 to start my 5 a.m. protocol, and I feel exhausted, and I don't wanna do it. And I say, why have I been teaching this 5 a.m. Cl club concept for so many years to the leaders I work with and the people who come to the Titan Summit, you know, and people like Richard Branson have been on my stage and Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple and Shaquille O'Neal was in the room at the Titan Summit a number of years ago. And why do I teach this? And why do I teach the protocol? Well, here's the key. Not only will it fundamentally change the way your days play out, but the way you feel at six is very different from the way you feel when you first wake up. So give yourself 66 days. Please understand that getting up early is a gargantuan competitive advantage, and it will be the single best thing, or certainly one of the single best daily habits that you could possibly install in your life if you're seriously interested in legendary leadership, being a world builder, and a history maker. Okay, so fasten your seatbelt. I'm going to deconstruct the 2020-20 formula that I actually walk you through in the 5am club book, but I wanted to do it here for you so you get the benefit of me teaching it to you sort of live, okay? And so the 20-20-20 formula is the foundation of the 5am club morning protocol. So literally I'm gonna walk you through it from five o'clock to 5.20, the first pocket. If you were journaling this or deconstructing it, P1 is what I call it. The first pocket is move. You want to move at 5 a.m. The first thing you want to do is intense physical activity. Why? Because science has confirmed when you sweat, you release BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor. And Dr. John Rady over at Harvard calls BDNF miracle grow for the brain. Did you know that BDNF actually repairs brain cells damaged by stress. Did you know that BDNF actually accelerates your ability to learn? What would that do for you as an elite performer in your career? Did you know that BDNF actually regenerates and, and cements and fortifies neural connections? Your brain will get on fire just by sweating first thing in the morning. What else in that first 20 minute pocket of movement? you'll release dopamine automatically. This, this is how your brain works. It's not just for Beckham and Federer and Kanye and Warren Buffett and Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos and Sergey Brin and Shakespeare and Tolstoy and Mother Teresa and Nelson Mandela and the F1 racers. This is part of your brain's wiring. And that's why I want you to share this message. I want children to know this. I want firefighters to know this and police officers to know this and managers to know this. If you sweat first thing in the morning, you also release and move, you release dopamine, which is the inspirational neurotransmitter. And that's why you start to feel energy. What else? You release oxytocin, you release serotonin, which is the pleasure neurotransmitter. You start to feel happy. If you've read my book, The Leader Had No Title, you know that chapter, Leadership Begins Within. When you feel happy, you're less toxic for your teammates. You're more creative, you have more energy, and energy is more valuable than intelligence in the marketplace we are in right now. Pocket number one, the deconstruction of the 5M Club, the 20-20-20 formula, first 20 minute pocket, movement. Move intensely. It even increase your metabolic rate, which allows you to burn fat more quickly, which also, according to University of Toronto, that workout first thing in the morning reduces cravings and you feel the, the positive effects 24 hours after the workout. If you work out regularly, you know what I mean. That brings us to pocket number two. It's now 520. Your energy is alive. Your brain is on fire. Your pharmacy of mastery has kicked in. You're feeling incredible confidence because I often get on the bicycle first thing in the morning and I'm listening to audiobooks as well, which fills me with hope and information about mastery and being legendary. 
520, rest of the world is asleep. You're a, a force of nature. Okay, 520 to 540, what do you do? Second pocket. Second pocket is simply this. It's called reflection. And I'll walk you through it in the 5 a.m. club. It's called reflection. We live in a world where most people are so busy being busy, they don't have any time to think. What the true heroes do. A Mandela, 27 years in, in, car, in prison, 18 years on Robben Island. Part of what made Mandela Mandela is the opportunity in solitude to reflect. Well, we don't do that anymore. Very few people say, oh, I got up this morning, what did you do? Oh, I reflected. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, I spent an hour in solitude. But solitude is one of the great traits of genius level performers. They spend a lot of time alone. So now, by building this in 66 days until you hardwire it to the point of what the researchers call automaticity, every single day you now have this morning routine or habit. And the second thing you do from 520 to 540, you reflect. That could look like prayer, I pray, I meditate. I love writing in a journal during the second minute reflection, uh, the second 20 minute Re, uh, pocket of reflection. I just drink coffee, which is a great cognitive enhancer. And I write. I do blessing lists almost every day because I need to. The world is negative. You've got to bulletproof your interior core. You've got to fireproof your mighty mission by coming back to your journal while your family and your loved and your, the world is asleep and writing. Here's what I'm grateful for. Here's my dream. Here are my deliverables. Here's my big five for life. Here's what I want to stand for today. Okay, and there's a lot of great research from positive psychologists saying, knowing your story and writing out who you want to be literally locks in that commitment that allows your behavior to change. Third pocket, first pocket of the 2020 formula, the 5 a.m. club deconstructed, pocket number one, movement. Second pocket, 520, 540, reflection. Third pocket, 540, six o'clock. Please don't say, Robin, you didn't walk it through us. I'm giving you granularity on the 2020 formula because I, I want to help you. I want you to multiply your productivity. I want you to own your game. I want you to see your work as a movement so you serve the world because when you win, I win. I feel I'm doing my part to serve. So the final pocket, it's learning. You see, the job of the leader is to grow. I gotta repeat that again because it's so fundamentally important. The job of the leader is to grow. The game is not about money. Money's fine. The game is not about acclaim. Acclaim is fine. We're all social animals. We want the applause of our peers. The, the real game is not about a bigger house, more social media followers, a private jet. If you want it, that's fine. I have no judgment. It'll get you there more quickly. I think the game of legends is a different game. And part of that is understanding leadership is about growth. Life is about personal mastery. Who can you become? How many people can you help? And you know about my mindset, I call it the 2X, 3X mindset. And if you wanna calibrate it and go deeper, you can watch it in another mastery session. But the point of the third pocket is leaders love to grow. The best human beings the real obsession is evolution and personal optimization. How close to the fullness of your human potential can you actually live and exploit for the benefit of your craft and for the service of the world? And if you're saying, Robin, that's inspiration, great. But here's the science and research. James Flynn, American psychologist, calls it capitalization. And he studied athletes and he said the best athletes, the best boxers, don't have the most talent. They had the most fire and grit and commitment to practice so that they lived whatever potential they had. Shakespeare might not have been the smartest or most gifted author, but his work has 
transcended the generations because he actually lived whatever potential that he had. And it could be the same for Picasso, Federer, Serena Williams, Nelson Mandela, Stephen King, Sergey Brin, Warren Buffett, whoever it is. I'm just trying to make a point. Giftedness is a lie society sells you. That the great heroes have more talent naturally. It's a lot more about the rituals, and this is one of the primary ones I encourage you to wire in the 5 a.m. club. And the final pocket is learning. And this is where you get to listen to audiobooks, where you can read an ebook, where you can do what I love to do. I still am old school in this. I love reading books. I think it was Plato who said, a home full of books is, a be is beautiful for the soul. And so around my home, books everywhere. And yes, it takes up a lot of space, and I think it's space well spent. And I just love books. I mean, for $20, you can get the journey of a lifetime of the greatest producers and the history makers. You can learn what the real leaders do, how the best in business did it from a $20 or $30 book. I still remember a little while ago, I recommended a book to a barista in a coffee shop. It wasn't one of my books. I just said, read this book. You'll love it. And he said, how much is the book? And it showed me, no judgment. It showed me his scarcity. But if you look at the A players and the people who really do epic things in the world, it's not how much is the book, it's how quickly can I read the book? Don't worry about investing in your learning. Every quarter, go to a live learning event. Read the books. Listen to podcasts. L listen to audiobooks while you're driving or commuting on the bus or in the, in the subway or tube if you're in the UK. While everyone else is daydreaming or snoring, you've seen the people on the subway snoring. I know you have. I've seen them on airplanes too. I want to go over and sort of close their mouths with respect. I'm joking, but the point is this. Pocket number three is learning and growing. And when you do that consistently every day, you start to own your days. And that's really an obsession I encourage you to get involved in because an obsession is only unhealthy if it's an unhealthy obsession. And so by doing this 2020-20 formula every day from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., you join the club I have been teaching people to enter for 20 years, the 5 a.m. club. And it is, it is, I believe, the number one habit of super producers. And I have coached billionaires for going into my third decade, okay? And you probably know about the Titan Summit. And I've worked with Starbucks, IBM, Oracle, Microsoft, Tom's Shoes, all these startups, and it just goes on and on. Nike, CEOs that you read about in the magazines, and I only mention this to say, one of the things I teach them when it comes to personal mastery is the 5 a.m. club and the 20-20-20 formula. And it is created as empires for them. And your empire might not be money, it might be creativity or productivity or humanity. Phenomenal, I'm just here to help. So run this for 66 days. I challenge you with great love and respect. Do not give up when it's hard. It's meant to be hard. Leadership is not the easiest game in the world. It's the best sport you can ever do. Okay, if this episode has been valuable to you, because my intent is to serve you and help you fly. When you win, I win because the world becomes better, more craft gets out in the world, we model mastery better, the world becomes a better place, and the world needs more heroes. I think we all agree on that. If I've done my job and you've got rich value through this episode, here's all I ask. Would you please share it with three friends over the next 60 minutes so we get the message out and we help more people? Number two, a lot of people are asking, Robin, we've heard about your live event, Personal Mastery Academy. We wanna be in the room or we really want to play at legendary level and be a history maker. We want to be in your flagship event, my four-day live event called the Titan Summit. Uh, Richard Branson has been on my stage, as I mentioned, Shaquille O'Neal, the NBA legend, the co-founder of Apple. Steve Wozniak was in the room uh, on the, at the last Titan Summit. I've run it for many years. If you want information on being in the room, I'd love to help you. I'd love to, I'd love to see you in the room. Just go over to robinsharma.com. 
robinsharma.com. You can find all the details you need. And if you want to get on the waiting list because we sell out every year, go to personalmasteryacademy.com or the titansummit.com. Okay, Th those are where the details are for everyone who's been asking me. And then finally, if you've loved this episode, if you are at a place in your life where you're really ready to create revolutions of transformation, own your craft in your professional life, lead a legendary life so you play at the highest level so that you don't postpone living your potential. So you live literally have massive impact, massive success. Well, here's an opportunity for you. I'll mention it very quickly because it's not for everyone. It's called Robin Sharma Nation. And this is where I will be coaching you every single month online. I'd love to help you. If you're interested, just go over to robinsharmanation.com, robinsharmanation.com. Before we opened doors, we had over 10,000 people on the waiting list. So there's huge interest because you don't have to come to one of my events. This is me coaching you online every single month. We'll go 100 times deeper in this kind of information that I've shared in this episode with you. Uh, robinsharmanation.com or you can find information at robinsharma.com uh, robinsharma.com hope that's helpful more than anything else use the information that I've shared in this episode so you live it and implement it so you fly and win because the world does need more heroes why wait for them when you have it in you to become one of them go for great I love you a lot we'll see you in the next mastery session hi this is Robin Sharma I hope you received great value from this mastery session. If you'd like to receive potent training videos, blog posts, learning tools, and information on my two live events, Personal Mastery Academy, and my flagship four-day experience, the Titan Summit, go ahead and visit robinsharma.com.